I dated a lot back in my day, okay? I dated so many people and I didn't even realize that until I got older. This is the thing though, I didn't go into relationships with them. So when I would date someone, it'd be like one or two months at a time. There was two of them that were like five or seven months. I've only had three serious relationships. Two of them are one year and a half and my current situation now, which is marriage. We've been together for five years. And I'm always curious to know why people that are older have not had a relationship. But I guess I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a video by Morgan Adams. I haven't seen her videos in a long time and I actually enjoy her content. She is actually the sister of Ryland, which is Shane Dawson's fiance. We're gonna go ahead and watch her video. This one's called Why I've Never Had a Boyfriend. So I'm curious to know why and what she's gonna plan on doing with that. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Hi, <laughs> this is my wombat. <laughs> Oh, wow, I'm really nervous. Hi, nice to see you wherever you are. So my brother got married this past summer and I don't know if you've ever been to a family wedding. She's not talking about Ryland, by the way. She's talking about her other brother. But I think you know how it works, all right? Your aunts from Canada come, your weird uncles from Texas. Everybody comes and combines in the same room, mix it up, get a little drink in you. You have a lot of questions from a lot of people that you haven't seen since you were this tall. And they're like, oh my God, you were this tall last time I saw you. It's never like... It could be a good feeling and it could be a bad feeling. It's a good feeling because it's a great event where it brings everyone together. But when you have toxic people in your family and then you combine it with other people, it can be a mess. Like, did you end up graduating college? Do you have any job plans? It's always, do you have a boyfriend? Nosy, nosy people. That's what that is. Yeah. And I mean, I guess it's a compliment, you know? They're like, Morgan, you're so unique and amazing and captivating. <laughs> Literally no one has ever said that. And I'm like, oh, I know Aunt Jennifer, how do I not have 10 beautifully crisp men lined up at my door waiting to have 20 kids with me? <laughs> Literally me makes a whole ass video about why I've never had a boyfriend and everyone is like, you don't have to tell us, we already know, bye. So, I've never been on like a legit official date. A long time ago, I had like an almost <laughs> boyfriend. We've done a video together. A lot of people are asking what happened to it. Hey guys, Ooh. it's me, <laughs> Can I see his face It's been though? like a very unfortunate day. Oh, look, oh, someone's calling me. Answer, <laughs> mom? <laughs> Yeah, like I'm feeling like a little sad. Like I just need to like take my tears and it's actually like oh, that's a good job. Oh, oh my god, I love Oh that's him. It's just a little too close to home for now. Aww, but I've never cute. had like a serious romantic relationship and I would go as far to say that that's solely my own fault and we're gonna get into why. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, okay? I'm trying to have a serious talk. This is serious, but I have a hard time not thinking that everything is hysterically comical and life is pointless. Anyway, so we are about to go on an adventure of finding my first date and we're gonna go through the whole process of it and I am extremely okay. horrified because I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. I was thinking about what the best way to go about this would be, you know, like finding people on Tinder, finding people on Craigslist, trying to find someone in real life. So about a month ago, we found our first guy that we thought would be perfect. Okay. Here I am being this setup. I'm setting this up because for a very long time, Morgan has been trying to do a video where she sets, well, she where she hires a boyfriend. We're so her brother is pretty much playing Cupid, which is typical. But I'm curious to know what kind of guy they chose. Still in the process of finding her a real boyfriend, but we're I, I asked him and he said he's sure. down for a good time. Sure. Hey, girlfriend, how are you? <laughs> are you married? Oh, that would be problematic. Uh, yeah, like I that. already... Not, nothing like that. No. Sample. A sample. Wanna, yeah. Wanna try it a out. A sample platter. <laughs> not that you're a sample platter, but... We were gonna hire someone from, like, eBay. The whole point of the video is that it's gonna be hard and awkward and weird. That's why of it's course. fun to watch. It's, it's content. So crazy. Who does this on camera? So the first YouTubers. Guy, 
didn't work out. So then we went back to the drawing board. Um, I was asking people like, oh, I don't know what I should do for this. I don't know what I should do. And then my roommate, Sagan, told me that she had the perfect option <laughs> for a guy to go on a date with me. So my date for tonight didn't work out. He has a family. Aw, <laughs> that sucks. So Sagan over here has a friend. I think he's uh, the perfect character. <laughs> so once upon a time, I lived in Hawaii with Sagan. And this guy was like, oh my god, I think your friend is banging me. Because <laughs> <laughs> God forbid it would be me. <laughs> he was the man in high school because he's so funny, he's so relatable, he's just a great guy. I think you need to say, Shani, I'll have a proposition for you. Okay. And see what happens. <laughs> Ew, I look so red. This is so disgusting. The thing about Morgan... Just is fun. So the thing about Morgan is that she's actually pretty, like she really is pretty, so I don't know why she downs herself a lot, but she does. And even with makeup, not that she needs it, but with makeup it enhances her looks, like she looks even more pretty. So I don't know why, I mean it seems like she's got a little bit of confidence, but I know that she does have some insecurities, like we all do, but if she just puts that off to the side and realizes that not everyone is perfect, including yourself, that it's okay to still love yourself and have someone else love you for that. We, Satan and I were chatting about doing a dating. That's like assuming that he knows that I do videos on the internet. He though. knows that you do videos on the internet. <laughs> you think? Yes. <laughs> she, oh, no. He follows her. We were really? chatting about business. No, that makes you so <laughs> like you're gonna take him to like, I don't know, like, like Benny Hans. Yeah. No. <laughs> What? Is that your idea of like corporate? Of a business like, dinner? Did you send it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I happen to be looking. To be looking. For a handsome man. A handsome, <laughs> funny man. <laughs> to go on a date on camera. With me. Yeah. And then it's it's uh, stage two is done. He said, yeah, obviously. They wouldn't be wasting, they wouldn't be wasting all this time filming this part of it all. So in. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. Wow. They're like teenagers. <laughs> having a crush for the oh, first time. Oh, you shoot your shot and it works. Projection <laughs> brings redirection to the spot. <laughs> Look it up. And I think he's she's like, like Will Ferrell, y'all. He's like, <laughs> he is. He really is. You'll see. Good night. That was fun. I want to get into the deep depths of my mind to understand okay. why I really haven't dated yet in my life. Because I've honestly always had this idea in my head, my perfect vision of life, that I would have everything figured out on my own before I would even think about it. All right, I'm talking like perfect job, perfect house, everything that I've ever wanted in life, I would have to already have because I didn't want to risk the idea of anyone being able to take anything away from me. Dark, I know, but it's just always how I've gone about life. So when you- But girl, you're still young though. You're only like 22 or 23 years old. You still have a long way to build yourself before anyone comes along. You still got time, girl? Don't rush it. Grow up really hating yourself and really feeling worthless and you don't believe that there's anyone in the entire world that could possibly like you and anyone that does like you is pretending. Once something's engraved in Jeez. your head, it's really hard to break. At this point in my life, I've worked really hard to have like a few really, really, really good friends. I really don't like the idea of having temporary people. I don't know, okay? It's the quality of the relationships in your life over the quantity. Yes, I When I, I started agree. YouTube, that really rocked my life upside down. I mean, my life changed really fast. And through all that constant stress and anxiety and worry that someone's gonna break into my house and kill me, somehow along the way, I don't know the science and logistics of it. So this really crazy thing happens where if you eat whatever you want and you're also sitting all day, somewhere along the way, I just happen to gain 50, maybe 60 <laughs> pounds. Pounds. When you're on YouTube, it's a little different because everyone- And that's okay, girl. Some guys like a little bit of thickums, okay? My woman is a thickum and I love every inch of her, okay?
can see what you look like. As long as you're healthy, you're good. But then when I noticed that people were commenting a lot about my body, I got really, really, really self-conscious. <laughs> and that's when I started wearing black hoodies all the time and black leggings because it was the only thing that I had in my closet that fits. So in the past year or two especially, I just really haven't had the mental space to even be able to process bringing someone into my life because I was like, you know what, Morgan, you can either sit in your room forever, be sad forever, lose all of your friends and just sit here in your misery and eat 10,000 calories a day, or you can figure it out, right? You can get your saggy ass up and you can figure it out. So for the first time in my life, I decided I was going <laughs> to figure it out. For the past eight months, I've really taken a mental trip, all right? I started going to therapy about eight months ago, which has helped tremendously <laughs> now that i feel helps. like all my noodles are in a line because i figured everything out i feel so much less dark I did a video a few months ago where i became chloe kardashian for a day and then i worked out with shane's trainer so ever since then i've been working out with jess i've been working out probably like five six times a week I don't know. Well, good for her that's what's up so we've been working do anything that will make you feel better mentally and emotionally. Fuck what everybody else has to say. Everybody in this world is going to judge you regardless. If you're doing good, if you're doing bad, they always got something to say. Fuck them all. As long as you are healthy mentally and emotionally, that's all that matters. You know, for how long? <laughs> like, well, like, solid month and then there was a little Colorado A break. shaky first month with a Colorado break and a back end break. We're having a two-month <laughs> measurement. I'm afraid of measurements. Oh wait, you can't tell if there's been progress? Like you don't feel There definitely has. Well, yeah, no. No. there right. has, but we haven't had like a factual statement, right. you know? Like this is data. We need to play data. data. Right, just like weighing yourself is just data. It's right across the She did lose weight. <laughs> she did lose weight. So far? She can be with a yikes face. So overall, like, you know, your whole body you've lost everywhere. So now the idea is to get you down and then back up, not, not weight-wise, but like kind of have your body kind of transform in a different way. So get it to lose and then start to get it to gain muscle-wise, not weight-wise. Pleasant with rise at all of it. No more talk about on the weekends. <laughs> right. No more to keep a lot of it. I finally feel really good about the people that are in my life, what I want to do in the future. So on that note, we are going to start dating and it's probably going to be fucking horrifying and let's <laughs> do it, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not trying to say that you need to lose weight or change anything about yourself in order to date or be desirable. I am just going through the process of wanting to live my fullest life and for me personally, I felt that working out was something I could do to feel better about myself and overall happier. It is more about fighting to change my mindset, not fighting to change my body, okay? Love you. So now that the second guy is confirmed, I'm going to be going on my first ever date, so I'm going to get an outfit, you know, get ready figure it out. Basically what she pretty much said was exactly what I said. You have to learn how to love yourself first before you before anyone can ever love you. First Period. date chat. Okay, let's talk about it because I don't have anything ready for this type of scenario. I am a fingernail monster. I've been a chronic nail biter for my entire life. Like even when I was a kid, they gave me a little polish that you put on your fingernails that taste disgusting so you don't want to bite your nails and I was like I'm really insecure about it because when people see my fingernails, they're like, yikes, you know? Maybe you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, in my opinion, no guy's gonna see Crunchville USA and be like, ooh, how want to taste of those fingernails. So, that's what we're doing. We're yeah, getting that's pretty bad. Done. We're getting pants. I also have to work out at 2.30. We're gonna get a nice... Uh, get yoked session. Do people still say that? I remember guys in my high school were like, huh, let's get yoked. But like, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I guess every day when I'm going to the gym, I'm getting yoked. We're gonna get our nails done. We're gonna get an outfit. We're gonna take a shower. We're gonna get yoked. And then we're gonna put it in a pan, scramble it all together, an omelet ready for this date. She lives in California. Most YouTubers do. Yeah, 
Like, I would never move there though. <laughs> never. Today is a big day. Hmm. So welcome to my first ever date makeup getting ready routine. Uh, I literally didn't sleep all night because I had so much anxiety about whether or not I should cancel but then I was like oh my god I already hired someone to film, I already have them coming, I already have the whole situation planned out, I can't cancel now, that would be so rude. Ooh. I could not do that though. I finally got myself together <laughs> mentally, <laughs> emotionally, and I'm, now I'm ready to date. My first dates would never be on camera for the world to see. So she got balls, you know what I'm saying? She's a little brave for this. Oh. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, love it. You're welcome to come. Oh, I might, I might, I don't know. I think it'd be funny. So she's coming along. <laughs> and have a friend come along. That makes it even more awkward. There's nothing like having your friends and your family present. <laughs> I have an exciting announcement. Oh, Colorado. By the way, I'm taking a spon I don't know why I had this marker. Let me put this down. By the way, I'm taking a spontaneous trip to Colorado. It's the cheapest flight from Chicago. I didn't want to go to Vegas because I've been there twice already. And I'm going solo. So I'm going to actually do like a hike over there only for four days. I'm actually going next weekend, so I'm excited. This is my f my second trip alone. Um, my first trip while being in a relationship <laughs> alone. So it's gonna be um, it's gonna be good for me. It's I'm gonna do a little bit of soul searching and just time for myself to just like cleanse my mind and everything. So it'll be good. I'm excited. Yeah, I <laughs> going on a date. Well, it's for a video. <laughs> oh, first one, how much sure is that box? I didn't even tell us, that's funny. <laughs> Love you, bye. Bye. Desperate Aww. time to call for desperate measures. I just got a nice little cashmere jaw dropping. These are pants. <laughs> Foreign concept to me. Not a fan. Make sure you rip all the stickers off. Could be a mama tent. Could be a stripper under all this. Could be Kylie Jenner. In oh a wig. no, girl. Don't do that one. Who oh, no. Don't follow the trend. No, Create your own. Your dates outside because I spent well, so much. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a given. Okay. Well, first of all, we don't know this guy. We can't bring him inside yet. We don't know if he's. Oh my gosh. Him. That's he right. He watches back and be like, "You think I'm a killer?" No, we don't. It's not about that. It's like. Hold on. I think he's a killer, but you don't. We don't know him. Exactly. That's what I feel. Your home is your sacred space. Okay. This is where you lay your head. Okay. This is where you sleep. This is your rest. This is where you rest. Where you can be comfortable. This is your zone. You can't just let just random people come in your home like that. This is. Eh. I guess that is true, but like if you're gonna invite somebody over, he's already inside the landscape, so it's like. No. But I think like if he has a machete, choice. he has a machete. But I'd rather die outside than inside. I guess. So you've never met him? No, I've literally never met him. I'm okay. freaking out. I'm okay. extremely can't talk nervous. Did I prefaced it as my first dating experience. So okay. now. <laughs> I'm excited for her. So I want to go on like a practice date for a video. Yeah, I just got to text her mom and she said, what if you get married to this guy? And I was like, okay, pressure. Then I got nervous <laughs> and now my stomach's like, I've never been on a date. Oh, she looks so nervous. With a straight guy. You've never been on a date? <laughs> she said with a straight guy because she's told us before that the guys that she ends up dating end up gay. So this is funny. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Yeah, I've gone hundreds. She's ready to hit the dating world. That She's ready. Mean any? All right, we need to Do you have any like dating advice that you can meet? Be yourself. Yeah, you're getting married. Be you yourself. Oh. You. Oh. Uh, well, no. Oh, hold on, that's a plane. It's gonna be annoying. Isn't it? He's gonna <laughs> fall out of the plane and be like, "Hello." Uh, oh my God! <laughs> what if you like made a parachute landing? You're like, "You are the one." Megan told me, my friend, my roommate said that he's very charismatic. Like, oh no. So I don't know if he's gonna show up like 
Actually, that's probably good for you because you need somebody that will like pull you out. What? You're what? Diamond. <laughs> what? No, I'm <laughs> saying you're any? not. If you want me to be an Audi? I think <laughs> once people get to know her, then she is. But even so, like you're not the type to just like unload your <laughs> issues on people. You kind of have. You require some digging. So you need somebody that's probably charismatic. Let me turn some lights on. Hold on. What does charismatic have to do with digging? What is this holes? <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin? Oh. It's not a pumpkin. <laughs> literally looks like a forest inside. Oh, oh. oh, oh my god, fly <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Oh. <laughs> Great first day location. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we have some fall decor. So he's not gonna think we're complete <laughs> monsters. Why do you look here, man? I'm the waiter. I got cast as the waiter. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Okay, five star experience, please. Ooh, I need a big tip if I'm gonna be a waiter. <laughs> Should we like preface this as if I cooked? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> he's thinking you're in the kitchen frying zucchini. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay is so shook right now. <laughs> what first date food? I mean, you should cut it with a fork and a knife like a lady. Have you prepared? Are you gonna like give a fake version of yourself, like e using a fork and a knife for pizza, or are you gonna just be like. A, you better be yourself. Are you show who you Stop are? playing. If you're setting yourself up for a successful long haul relationship, you just need to unload who you truly are up front. That's what okay, I said. I would have worn a completely different outfit. I was single for six months before Pris came along into my life, okay? Six months straight. I didn't flirt with nobody. I didn't collect no numbers with nobody. I didn't collect names with nobody. I did none of that. None of that. I was focusing on myself. And because of that, Pris came along into my life at the right time. And because of that, and I, I learned to love myself, I laid it, everything out on the table, okay? I let, you, I let her know what my flaws were, what I still need to work on. If you're open to like still move forward with me, then let's go ahead. But when you love yourself, you just, just throw it all on the table. You don't got time to waste. I will say I've never seen you wear a sweater. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Finding the person you're gonna be in a relationship with is a little tough. Especially in LA, because people are crazy here. People are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like actually nuts. <laughs> You might want to go fly yourself to Colorado, find a boyfriend, and hope that he wants to move to California. You don't know what you're actually getting into, and then say you like get there, and you're, their job is so boring to you. You have to listen to them talk about their job for three hours. Oh, like mom and dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's he's trying to win you over. Oh, well, that's how it works. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. If you go on a date, are you like really nervous? Sometimes, depends if I like the person or not. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> Why would you go on a date with a person that you didn't like? Because you don't know them. You're going on a date to get to know them, and if you get to know them and you like them, then you, the nerves might come along. But everything's, everything's attraction at first. I guess you don't know that's the point, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this girl took a shot before meeting him. This might be the most <laughs> awkward video that you'll ever see in your life, but... Are you nervous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gay waiter. <laughs> Gotta have them. At your service. What do you suggest that I wear? No, that's you want that is perfect. Oh, this is like a <laughs> no. five-star attire. Okay, you find your own way. No, I'm agreeing with you. Honestly, I didn't think you'd be dressed that nice. That's why I'm a little shook. Oh, we could test how he treats waiters, because that's like the ultimate. Oh, true. Like, if someone's mean to waiters, you gotta cut them out real but fast. I can be kind of like, uh, not rude, but like an abrasive waiter. You wanna you test them. Like, take you on a hot air balloon. Can oh. <laughs> we put the house on fire? I wanna go on a hot air balloon. I've been wanting to go so bad. But Pris is scared of heights, so if I go, I have to go alone. <laughs> okay, too real. All of California is on fire. We need to pray. Oh. Meow. If he's late, he's already over. Okay, it's hard to find. Oh, 
hard to find, follow the address. Map quest. Are you actually, do you like think this is a potential mate? Like, I, so I, I don't know, I've never met him, how would I know? I don't even know what your type is. Yeah, what is your type, gay? <laughs> That's it. I like people that are friendly and funny. See, if someone's boring, you just gotta like... Well, boring's subjective. Okay, you. <laughs> I'll be here. Can you kill him? And you'll be here. Okay. Oh, so, uh, hello. Hi. How are you today? Oh, uh, you know, I just worked. <laughs> Rylan trying to be straight. You're not gonna ask where I work? <laughs> Do you know what he does for the living? No. Oh, see, you have lots to talk about. And I'll be here like, oh yeah, I'm a... Instagram model. Instagram model. Um, and he'll be like, ooh, <laughs> she's cool. And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Is this too like I'm the chef? <laughs> <laughs> that or is this like sail to do? This is bringing me back nine years in the biz, all leading up to this. I literally have so much experience, you're gonna be shook. Oh, oh, let's go inside. Oh, uh oh, he arrived. I'm glad he didn't stand her up because guys are assholes, man. Come on. Oh my no, god. Headlight, headlight. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous for her. Oh my god, I'm nervous for her. He's here. Stop. <laughs> she hasn't been in the dating scene yeah, in a long sure. time. Do you want me to hold him? Hold him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I told him I would come out and look at him. What? You're like gonna gonna go look yeah, you have the clicker. Oh my god, I'm nervous for her. I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> Oh, well, he decided not to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so nervous for her. Hello. What's going on? Oh, he's a hugger. Hi. <laughs> oh, that sucks. We didn't really get to see their facial expressions when they first met. Because it's, it's fucking dark. What was the camera? What were they thinking? Oh, Morgan. Sean. Oh. Nice to meet you. Are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. <laughs> We can't see your faces. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> to, uh, to tonight. So how do you think you took over right now? <sighs> okay. Oh, well, no. I, I like that he's... You don't like him? What's invisible but you wish people could see? Um, love. Aw, oh, that was a good answer. Did you hear that? What's invisible but you wished people could see? He said love. He won points in my book. I, that was awesome. Uh, Morgan's big sister, Jeffrey Lane. How are you? Yeah, Sean. Nice to meet you. I've never had four. I, I, never think I think there was chemistry. I think there was chemistry. There's a weird shadow right there. Like, <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna go off the looks, okay? I'm not gonna go off the looks alone because if I do, then he's already cut off. <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go off his answer of love, so he already won points. So since we didn't get to see that date, when part two comes, stay tuned because I will react to it. I'm excited to know what happens. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.